Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let's Code. In this video, we are going to learn about the hooks concept in Cucumber. So hooks are block of code that run at various points in the Cucumber execution cycle. Um, they are typically used for setup and the teardown of environment before and after each scenario. That means um, if you know testng, hooks is similar to your testng annotations like the before method or after method. So in testng we have various annotations like before method after method before class after class before test after test before suite after suite and also something like before group i guess so in cucumber it's very easy only we have four hooks uh, one is part of your scenario and another one is part of your steps so basically we have two types of hooks so when i say scenario like there will be two hooks one is the before and after whereas for steps also we have like before step and the after step let us see the demo okay so hooks is very simple concept but uh, we have a lot of concept to learn and probably i will cover i will try to cover more uh, detail on that okay so if you go to our system i mean the editor eclipse you can see like we have like multiple uh, feature files and also we have this runner file and we have two login script okay so with this we are going to learn about the hooks so first of all what is hook before getting into the hook so if i go to my feature file and if i do like right click and if i click like um find step definition you can see like it's not working basically it should work so what we have to do is we have to convert the this maven project into a cucumber project which is very easy we don't have to do much just right click on your project and then um, go to configure and here we have an option like convert to cucumber project just click on that it will take few seconds depends on your system and once that is done if you see your project there you can see like the screen color icon which is basically the cucumber symbol okay so once that is done we can go to any step definition i mean any feature file and we can do like right click then followed by find step definition it will take q to that appropriate method in the class okay so very simple you can check from another file as well so or you can click on the f3 or function f3 depends on your keyboard okay now coming back to the hooks concept okay let us learn the about the hooks hooks concept so within the src test java i'm going to create a package called hooks and within that i'm going to create a class as hooks or my hooks okay so package and class name can be anything uh, but mostly like it is like standard hooks okay what is hooks in the sense like it's basically um, in ruby language if there is any precondition or post condition uh, they use the keyword called hooks and as i said earlier Cucumber is built using the Ruby language firstly. So they follow the same things here as well. Okay. And this class name can be anything, doesn't really matter, but you can keep it like my hooks or hooks. Okay. So within the hooks, we know that we have two types. One is the scenario, one is another one is the step. Okay. So what this meant? Like this is scenario, right? So do you want to perform something here and something here? then that is known as scenario hooks but in case if you want to perform anything before this step and after this step that is known as step hooks okay so we'll learn both the hooks let's go so if i go to my hooks class i'm going to create a function so public void um, this is going to be like my before scenario and here we have to use the annotations called at the rate before and we should import that from cucumber.api.java okay and within this function or method we are going to receive this scenario as an argument okay so scenario is basically an interface which is coming from your cucumber.api make sure you are going to do the correct import or else it won't work so here also you can see like we are getting it from gherkin.ast but this is the interface okay so this is the only interface available which is in the package of cucumber.api and here i can give some name to it scenario api so if it's interface means of course we know 
there will be a class which will have the implementation but we can use the interface just for our uh, reference okay now similarly i can create one more as well so here i can make it like after scenario and here i can change this to after okay uh, similarly we can do it for the before step and after step as well so i'm going to just copy paste very quickly and i'm going to change it like before step and if you want to erase the particular word like you can use control backslash i mean backspace keyword remove that particular word okay. then after scenario okay uh, sorry after steps step or step whatever it is and this should be like your before step and that is also coming from your java.cucumber.api.java okay and here it's going to be like after step okay that's a very simple thing you know what we can do with this in the sense like if i go to the scenario interface and if i give like control o you can see all the available functions we have okay so here you can see like we have something called um, um get source tag name and we have like get status s yes, failed embed right get name get uid get uri get id and get lines okay so we have quite a few functions are we going to learn everything maybe may not be so we'll take as it is comes okay now just to show you like what we, we can achieve with the um, hooks and how to use it i'll just add some sysout statement okay for example here i can say like this out and i can give like scenario dot we have something like name get name so that will return the name of the scenario okay and then for example for steps okay i'm just add, going to add one more sys out here and this is going to be like scenario name which is running in the before scenario okay and similarly i'm going to give this here and here I'm going to use like something like um, get line, I guess. We'll come back to this before step and after step uh, in the next video. Okay. So here we have this after, right? So here I can check like if the scenario is passed or failed. Okay. For example, here I can say like scenario dot is failed. So we have a function called is failed, which is going to return the boolean. Okay. So here I'm going to say like this out is failed and then followed by the variable which is failed okay so as of now we are going to use only this two so when which one is like one is like before scenario and another one is like after scenario so here we are just printing the name and here we are just uh, checking the scenario is pass or failed okay but if i go and run this it is not going to work because um here in the glue what we are doing is we are saying like where is our step definition similarly we have this class called my hooks which is also java class but cucumber wants to or cucumber needs to understand like where the hooks are so how to tell to cucumber that okay here is my hook and take it is basically with the help of glue okay so if you remember i said that glue basically accepts an array okay so what we can do is we can just simply give the array curly braces and here i can say like steps and then followed by hooks okay again for all our step definition we are giving only the step steps that is my package name similarly for hooks you have to give your hooks package name okay can i have multiple yes you can have but that is unnecessary just have one say one hooks and within the hook you can have like before or after even multiple before or after is also possible possible we'll talk about that in our upcoming videos like how to use those if we have multiple okay so uh that's it let's go and execute this so i'm going to execute probably all the tests just to make sure like it's working so here you can see like it says like uh, scenario name and it says like add to cart and this is my sysout statement from the print page title i guess 
and let's go to the step definition i think i have fixed few of the steps here not it okay let's go to the console and uh, okay so totally we have like five failures and uh, i mean five execution two failures okay so if you go up and if you click on this result of running class runner you can see like add to cart this got failed so there is nothing like mat roll options so it didn't load the page i guess same thing happened for another test as well so other test got passed so totally we have two failures which is absolutely fine uh, i know there is a weight issues in the selenium cucumber tamil playlist i have fixed that probably in the next video i will just use the same code where i'm going to fix all the like i will implement the web rate concept in the script okay but yeah just to show you the hooks concept if you go to the console and here you can select we are getting the scenario name which is we are getting from the hooks and is failed yeah it is failed so we are getting like true and is failed is false because this one is pass and this one is failed okay so like this we will get a lot of details now what is the use of getting this out no use actually but with this what we can do is we can attach screenshot on failure um and we can set priority in the hooks like that we have few other features we'll talk about that in the upcoming videos okay so that's it from my side if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments or in our discord Tada, bye bye take care